I work with a lot of voice students on belting and how to find a healthy belt. So there is a myth about belting and that is that it's bad for you, that it's unhealthy. I'm here to tell you that's not true and that there's a way to find a healthy belt. So the definition of belting essentially is to sing high and loud. And a lot of singers believe that we have to take our chest voice, our lower register, and just pull it up or push it up as far as it can go. Well, that's not necessarily true. You can belt in different registers. So we have our chest voice, our lower register, our head voice, our upper register, which I've already done a lesson about, so check that out there. And then you have your mixed voice. Well, you can create a belt sound in your mix and even in your head voice, which will be a really supported sound and really take off the strain. There's a specific technique that's really helpful to create that loud sound that you want to sound like you're belting really high in your upper register, and that's called twang. Twang I will talk about as a follow-up to this lesson, and I'll definitely be doing more lessons about belting. There's a lot to it. So today I'll give you some great exercises to work on on your own so you can work on your belt and how to find it in a healthy way. But first there are some rules. When you're practicing, do it often, but not for a long time. So 20 minute increments every day would be great. Two hours at a time, no way, that's gonna be really tiring. Belting is really vocally demanding. It's a thicker fold mass. It can be straining on your voice, so make sure to drink lots of water and just practice often, but not for long periods of time. And what goes along with practicing often? Having patience. Understand your voice is a muscle and you need to work it out. It's like lifting weights. You can't just go to the gym and lift a ton of weights and expect your body to be fine with it and be able to lift those same weights every day from then on. You know, you have to work up to it. So have patience with yourself and if you practice often, I promise you will see results. When you're practicing your belt, don't sing too loud. Essentially, belting is glorified yelling. But I'd like you to try these exercises not at your ultimate volume or as loud as you can go. Try to maintain a relaxed body, get rid of tension, any tension that you can. That's something that I often say in my voice lessons. If you're doing any of these exercises and you feel discomfort, you feel tension, you feel tightness, if you're you know, really engaged here, especially in our throat, that's not where we wanna be. If you wanna be engaged and feel any kind of oomph, you want it down in your abs, in your belly, using your diaphragm, kind of right at the bottom of your rib cage here. This is where we can feel the engagement because that's where you're gonna be supporting and that's where your sound should be supported. Really grounded is what I would say. So belting, singing high and loud, essentially full voice singing, doesn't necessarily have to be in your chest voice. A cool way to start getting your head wrapped around belting, especially if you're a classical singer or if you've never tried belting at all. It feels very similar to talking. So before we even start singing, we'll do a few exercises that kind of get you into that place, into that mindset of, okay, I'm making a bigger, bolder sound. You need to be willing to explore, kind of push the boundaries a little bit. Be okay with making a bigger sound. You're only gonna get there if you're able to be free and let it go and explore your voice. We all have different voices and I can tell you how things feel or how things sound for me and when I work with students, we do a lot of experimenting. So let's get started. You're gonna start with just the word, hey, hey, and then you'll say it a little bit louder. Hey, I want you to feel the engagement here. Go ahead and put your hands on your belly and when you say the word, hey, Hey, a little bit louder. Hey, I want you to feel it engaged down in your abs. I want you to support your hey instead of hey, hey. From here, I want you to feel it from your belly. Hey, hey. Now a little bit higher. Hey, hey. This is annoying, I know. So now we'll try it on a note. Hey, hey, hey. Again, I want you to feel it from your belly. Hey, hey! Now we'll start with a simple exercise. This was in my warm-up video, but I really like to use this exercise when I'm warming up to a belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really emphasize that slide. Don't be afraid, don't hold back from that. The idea is that you'll kind of feel a little bit of that pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want you to think instead of pulling it up from your chest, you're feeling the resonation here in our chest voice, but I want you to feel that kind of that engagement, that support down here, and if there was any kind of a pull, you'd be pulling from your tummy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the same kind of engagement we had when we were saying hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're doing this 
specific exercise, I want you to try to squat on the top note. Now that's gonna sound weird. If you're a dancer, I want you to plie. Okay, I'm in my low squat position. This is super awkward. When you get to that top note, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the purpose of this. Good job, Ash! Now the purpose of the squat is to feel kind of that grounding, that grounding that I keep talking about. It's the feeling of you know, the notes going up, but your body's going down and rooting you into the floor so you feel supported. So you're not reaching for your note, we're reaching from our throat. You want to feel like you've got that grounding to shoot the note up. Let's try that again. Good. Now when you're belting, you can play with all kinds of sounds. You can have a deeper, longer sound. That's still keeping kind of that long, relaxed vowel. But sometimes we need to lift a little bit. So feel a little bit of that lift, like when you're working in your head voice. Feel it down here so you can resonate kind of more in this area. That gives a different, maybe brighter sound. You know, that's what it's about. It's about exploring what sound you like, what feels good, what feels comfortable. Certain vowels really make a difference. Maybe that's too spread, so then how can we darken a, a vowel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all about playing around with your vowel sounds and your shapes, but all the while maintaining that low, nice support. If you feel like you're yelling, get there and then relax into it. For me, and what I try to teach my students is, you know, really engaging your core and feeling like that's where you can carry that, like, oof, that oomph from your belly and use that, you know, use the air. Breathing is the key to everything. So if you can really feel like your breaths are grounded, that will really help you get to those next notes. So our next exercise we will do on a na. This one's a little trickier, but this is a great kind of weightlifting exercise for your belt. Na 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 na. Now you'll notice I kind of have a brighter spread face. You're not singing classical music, you're going for a belt. This is a more contemporary sound. So most likely you'll be a little more spread and that kind of will help still maintaining a lot of space in our mouth and support, but I want you not to be afraid to be a little bit wider than usual. Na 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 Something to keep in mind, the top notes should not be any louder. So if you can, try to keep them all at the same level, at the same volume. I have to remind myself of that sometimes. Sometimes when you're like ready and you're raring to go and you want to hit that high note, it's like you're pushing too hard and you're letting too much out. Belting does not require a ton of air being let out. If you can just support from your belly, from your gut, and ooh, engage, use your air, but don't let a lot of air escape. It's a smaller space, I'd say. Na 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 And we're getting a little high for a belt here. What I'm doing is continuing to kind of push up into that space, but doing it from my belly, not from my chest, not from my throat. And then it was going into this nasal place. Now we're gonna keep going, and this is gonna go into kind of that twangy space. Na, 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 na. Now I'm kind of going through my break here, so you might be able to tell. Na, 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 na. That was tricky coming down. So that's a high F, and it might have sounded like a belt, but that was in my twang, or in my head voice. Twang is a brighter, more nasal sound, and it really is what gets your voice to cut through in that high space. If I was singing this in a more classical space, I didn't add any more volume there, but I kind of let the nasal space come in. I think about it as kind of pushing my voice more forward, so I'm resonating in my mask but then moving it as far forward as I can so I really feel like you're resonating in your nose. With twang, you can't be afraid to sound like a whining cat. So that's all for today. I hope that was a good introduction to belting and I hope you have some tools to start belting in a healthy way. Just to overview, remember, support from a low, grounded place. Use your breath, but not too much air. Don't let too much air escape. Practice often, but not for too long. Don't sing too loud. Patience, have patience with yourself. This is a muscle you need to develop, it's gonna take time, but if you work on it every day, you will see results, I promise you that. And if it hurts, if it's tense, if it's tight, 
stop and maybe watch this video again. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this lesson on belting. I will follow up with a lesson on twang and we can really get our belt sound to carry all the way up into that whiny space. That's gonna be a fun one. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next week.